Spectrophotometry. The relationship between absorbance and the concentration of potassium permanganate solutions is determined. This relationship is then used to measure the concentration of an unknown solution of potassium permanganate. Prepare a 10 milliliter volumetric pipette as demonstrated in another video. Measure 10 milliliters of potassium permanganate using the potassium permanganate stock solution and transfer it into a clean, dry, 250 milliliter volumetric flask. Add distilled water to the volumetric flask to the 250 milliliter mark. Shake well to mix the solution. This solution is known as the primary standard solution. Do not discard it until the end of the experiment. Obtain five clean, dry beakers and label them one to five. Using a clean 10 milliliter volumetric pipette, measure out distilled water of 10 milliliters into beaker one, 20 milliliters into beaker two, 30 milliliters into beaker three, 40 milliliters into beaker four, 60 milliliters into beaker five. Rinse out a beaker with small quantities of the primary solution. Prepare the 10 milliliter volumetric pipette with the primary solution and then deliver 10 milliliter volumes into each of the five beakers containing the distilled water. Do not pipette directly from the volumetric flask containing the primary solution to avoid any possibility of contamination. While one partner is pipetting the water and primary solution, the other partner should calculate and record the concentrations of solution in each beaker. These values will be needed for LagerPro. Obtain two cuvettes. When using cuvettes, you should always hold cuvettes by the top edges of their rib sides. They should never be more than three quarter filled. Always cap the cuvette before inserting it into the colorimeter. Make sure there are no bubbles in the solution. If there are, flick the cuvette. Fill one of the cuvettes with distilled water and cap it. This will be the reference solution. Rinse the other cuvette with solution five two times, discard the rinseates, and fill the rinsed cuvette with the solution, then cap it. Open the LogerPro program and the appropriate file for the experiment. The colorimeter must now be calibrated. Wipe the cuvette containing the reference solution, which was distilled water, with Kim wipe and place it in the cell wall of the colorimeter. The cuvette must be clean and dry. Make sure to position the cuvette so that one of its clear faces is directed toward the white reference mark. Close the cell wall. On the colorimeter, use the two arrows to set the light wavelength to 565 nanometers. Press the CAL button and a red light will blink 10 times. The colorimeter has now been calibrated. Remove the reference solution from the cell wall and replace it with the cuvette containing solution 5, which is the most diluted solution. Be sure to wipe the cuvette with Kim wipe. Follow the instructions in your lab manual to collect the absorbance measurements in Logger Pro for solution 5. Remove the cuvette from the cell wall and discard its contents.
Rinse the cuvette with solution 4 and measure its absorbance. Repeat the previous steps with solutions 3, 2, and 1 in that order. Once the absorbance readings for the five solutions have been taken, you can then prepare a calibration curve for the absorbance of potassium permanganate as described in the lab manual. Obtain an unknown solution of potassium permanganate. Rinse a cuvette with the unknown solution, then measure its absorbance and record it on your data sheet. Remove the cuvette from the cell wall and rinse both cuvettes thoroughly with distilled water. Switch the colorimeter wavelength selector button to the off position. Clean the glassware and put away the equipment.